Life for Dick began here in 1937 in the home his family rented on Forest Road. Dick loved the beach even as a young boy. At age two and a half, he started his management career. Happy third birthday. Seesawing with his brother Jim. Time spent with his mom and brother at the beach. With his dad and brother in the Poconos. At Wallen Paw Pack. and always enjoying a chance to relax in the sun. A cutie at school. A card shark at home. The good little Cub Scout. The athlete. And the adventurer. The Spillman's second Wayne home on Woodland Court. Holidays shared with lots of family. All through the years. Dick started Friends Central in the seventh grade, where he served many years on the student council and played hard on the varsity soccer team. Then he was off to his engineering studies at Lehigh University. After Lehigh, Dick moved out to Pittsburgh where he started his professional career. And thanks to landing a job with Arco Chemical, he came back to Philadelphia. And finally, in 1967, he realized it was time to settle down. Enter the woman of his dreams, Joan Hutchinson. And her love daughter, and Tracy. Marriage, love and marriage, they go together like a horse and carriage. And three yes, years I later, in 1970, brother, along came a new family member to shake things up. Other. That would be me, Christy. Oh, the early years in Stone Harbor on 104th Street. Dad was my Superman. I was infamous for saying he could do anything. Except have a baby, of course. The good old New Year's well, Eve parties at home with so good friends. In the sky and good sideburns. And you know I can Dad always loved to party. Dad loved the bay at Stone Harbor. A great getaway. Here you see his first boat. And a second one, once he grew tired of paddling. Parties at the Yacht Club. But the grass is as soft as a feather Lounging on the deck. We're out on the water. So I'll be king, you be queen. The fond memories of Stone Harbor. In his September grass. Then came his big midlife savior, the red Corvette. Won from a contest at work. A six month way to rev life up and feel young again. Till I, his daughter, wrapped it around the telephone pole. I'll always remember him that day, wanting to wring my neck, he said. As long as you're alright, that's all that matters. 
he was always my hero. And yet, I think he still has that piece of car he pulled out of the pole. And he still hesitates when I ask him to borrow his. The next big event in the family history was Tracy's wedding in 1989 and the start of his love for Martha's Vineyard. Whenever I see your smiling face, I have to smile myself because of love. And when you give me that pretty little pal, and thanks too to Tracy. An adventurous trip to Singapore to visit her. Including a little vacation time in Thailand. He got me through Bucknell. In 1992 I graduated, only to move back home and tell him I wanted to go back to school. Three more years down at Drexel and another degree. Thanks Dad. Someday. And finally, in 1998, he found someone to take care of me. Enter Rob Gilfillan. Another wedding to I plan on the vineyard. The Dad had had about enough. You. In the way you look tonight. Yes, your love. With your smile so warm and your cheeks so soft, there is nothing for me but to love. Perhaps the greatest thing we love about Dad is his love for his family, his wife, his children. his son-in-laws, Chris and Rob, and his grandchildren, Duncan, Jack, Jesse, Hadley, and Cole. We love you so much, Dad. Thank you for all the wonderful memories, for all you've given, loved, and shared with us. We wish you a very happy birthday.